this video I want to show you how I play Murphy's Hornpipe. This is a song that I learned 15, 20 years ago almost and it's still part of my repertoire. I love to play it and for this song I actually put, yeah, brought my flat top mandolin. I think it suits this tune like this but you can of course play it on any style of mandolin. And this is like a duo arrangement where I also play the octave mandolin as a, with a chord and accompaniment and a, a tutorial is also coming up for that part but but for this video we're focus, uh, focusing on the melody of Murphy's Hornpipe. Here we go. My name is Magnus Sedlun and I help mandolin players just like you take their playing to the next level. And if you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because I have new videos like this coming out every week. And I also want to give a little tip here because this song, it, it, it's, there's a lot of triplets and things going on for the picking direction and all that. And if you want some more input for that and if you want to build your, your uh, control, precision and speed, Go check out, I have this upcoming virtual boot camp, a five day thing, and uh, you can get registered today. So go to mandolinsecrets.com forward slash boot camp, and you can read all about it. Would we'll be happy to see you in there. And I also want to point out that in Mandolin Secrets Academy, you find notation, sheet music, tabs, and play along for this tune. But here we go, the melody for Murphy's Hornpipe. One, two, and one, two, three, four. Yes, it's a very nice tune, isn't it? I played it two times through here, but of course this is a song that you probably want to jam on for a little bit longer. And one thing that I want to point out, well, I, I really think you want to pay 100% attention to the picking direction that I've written in the sheet music. Because if you want to bring it up to speed, you really want to nail this, because all these triplets are like yeah, otherwise I'm messing it up and I, I made a, a specific video about this a little etude and training for getting the triplets right so I will link that up below so you can go and practice that one and I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit I mean only here like in the very beginning for example
see there's triplets coming there and actually this tune is actually starting on the D note but here's the tip if you want to as I said if you want to start that triplet on an upstroke instead of thinking about that we can actually for me it's anyway easier I added a note to the melody I added a G here note because if I'm adding a note and doing that with a downstroke then the, the the hand will automatically fall into an upstroke on this pickup so that's a little tip there and there is also this in the very end the two last bars there's That is a little tricky right hand or picking hand maneuver right there. If I'm doing it like with dry, it looks like this. So that thing is probably something you want to practice doing on the muted string like this. So it's not a very natural hand movement but all the picking directions are in the tabs so I think you can follow that that's it for this lesson please leave a comment below and tell me if you're used to playing hornpipes on uh, like Celtic and Irish Scottish hornpipes on the mandolin would be happy to see what you answer there and if you like the video hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in a new video soon bye for now